Hello everyone! <laughs> uh, if you're not familiar with my channel, my name is Laura and I'm an artist who likes to color and um, draw and paint. And um, yeah, I think I'm streaming. Gosh, I'll get used to this setup at some point. <laughs> ah, I think it's working. Alright, excellent. So... <laughs> Um, we started out uh, with the Tombow brush markers on this page, and I just wanted to review the colors that we've used so far. So we've used 977, 992, 991, N75, 228, 243, and 173. You can find a list of all the supplies in the description below. Um, so I've tried to keep this a very limited palette for um, this page. However, I will be adding maybe one or two more colors for the... Um... Hi, Melody. Hello. <laughs> um, I will uh, probably be adding a few more colors today for the cat and then once we're done basing out the image with the markers we can go in with color pencils and I'm telling you this marker process speeds up the whole thing so fast um, it just makes everything a lot easier so I'm gonna pick a couple of colors I think maybe we're gonna need to we're gonna use this 991 light ochre that we used for the, the little plants here. I think that'll be a color we use for the ti tiger or I don't know what this is. It's like the ears kind of remind me of like an ocelot but then the markings kind of remind me of like a leopard. Uh, you know whatever. It's a fantasy cat that's got wings. I mean it doesn't have to be. Um, I'm trying to think of what darker color I want to use. <laughs> Let's see. Hi, Kenny. Hello. Oh, that's all right, Melody. Thanks for coming by, though. I appreciate it. <laughs> um, I'm curious what you're eating for dinner. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think, I think it's down to... Let's see... I'll be using probably 912, and what's the other one? While I try and decide what I, what color I'm going to be using for the <laughs> for the kitty cat, I just wanted to show you guys because I realized I haven't shown it on my YouTube channel. Um, I I posted on Instagram and Facebook, but um, I did finish my page for the steampunk freakout. Um, so there she is there. I had so much fun coloring this, and I actually had so much fun that I've decided I'm going to be coloring the other pages, you know, at my own pace, um, you know, as I feel like it at night or when I'm not feeling well. So I actually started Grazia's page, so this is where I'm at with Grazia's, um, and it's funny, so her heart is made of gold. I, I decided to kind of go with that pun, like heart of gold, so... Um, I colored it that way. Um, so yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with this page. And then I think the next one I'm going to go for is the Monia Gates one. Um, and just sort of work myself through that whole um, set of uh, drawings. <laughs> I think I'm going to go, we've got, we've already got Saddle Brown. I kind of want a warmer color. Trying to decide if I want it to be super dark though. Hi, sweetheart. <laughs> Abby's having some fun tearing it up. Alright, I think I'm going to try this one. We'll just keep this handy in case I change my mind. Okay. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Hi, Amanda. Um. <laughs> Thanks, Kenny. Mm hmm. Yeah, enjoy your dinner, Melody. Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> okay. So, I haven't really drawn a whole lot of K 
cats before. This is going to be new for me. Um, not like, like big tiger cats or anything like that. Um, <laughs> but that's okay, guys. You know, if you're new to something or you've never tried something before, um, you know, don't be scared of doing it. You know, I th my whole philosophy is like, um, what's the worst that can happen? You know, I mean, on the live stream, it's a little more nerve wracking, but if you're just sitting at home by yourself, you know, if it doesn't work out the way you want it to, um, then you can just not show anybody and nobody will, will know that you've done that. <laughs> so don't, don't be, um, afraid of trying new things. Um, so with that in mind, I'm just going to jump right on in don't really have any plan for this. I didn't look up any pictures, so we're just gonna wing it. Get it? Pun intended? No, just kidding. Okay, so this is pretty much filling up the whole frame, but I think for our video, let's zoom in a little bit. Let's see here, and I can just sort of try and keep in frame as we go. Let's see, how's that? I think that's better. All right. Um, <laughs> Abby on steroids. Yeah. I don't know where Abby is. She's having a morning. At first, she wasn't feeling good either, and then now she seems fine. And she's playing with her toys, kind of lazy like though. You know how like cats like just lay down and like bat their toys around. It's so funny. Okay, so we're going <laughs> to, it's like she's playful, but she doesn't have the energy for it. So we're going to start off with 991. This is the color we used for the flowers. I'm, I'm going for a limited palette, so I'm going to see how few colors we can use as our base for this tiger, ocelot, kitty, cat thing. And then um, we're... <laughs> We'll um, use a lot more color variation when it comes to the pencils, just that way. Um, if you don't have Tombow markers and you want to try this out, you can just get the small selection that I uh, put out there. Okay, I'm going to start under the wing here. So you guys know I like to start in places that are um, sort of in shadow, so that way if I mess up, it can be darker and it's not a big deal. So I'm going to ignore all this detail and we're just going to go right over everything. Now keep in mind the Tombows create a lot of strokes and streaks, so we're going to use that again to our advantage, remembering that a kitty cat has a lot of fur. So I'm going to go sort of in that direction of those, the way the fur would grow. So just knowing how a cat looks. And you can also kind of see, like, the illustrator has sort of given us a few clues. This is a really pretty color. So now I'm using the flat side and kind of holding the, the um, marker at an angle to get more broad strokes. Okay, now I'm kind of curving my strokes because this is more of a muscular part of the kitty cat. Let's fill in a little bit of the... And we might not see too many of these strokes, but just in case, by going with the direction of the fur, we're not creating a big problem for ourselves later when we go to shade this. Alright, do I want his feet to have a different color? The pads of his feet? I haven't decided. I kind of do, I think. So I'll just leave it like that for now and we can decide later. Okay, the tail. Since it goes from broad to small, I'm going to try and do it in one stroke. Let's see, let me get it in shot first. There we go. Kitty cat. Um, hi Darla. Hello, who else is here? 
Hi, Otilia. <laughs> Hello. I hope I said that right. <laughs> Thanks for coming by, guys. Okay, so we're gonna. So I'm gonna press hard and use the flat, and then I'm gonna lift up as I go. And let's see how. Let's move the marker so we can rotate the page if we want. And so. I feel like with this, it's always good to just try and do it. If you have to stop midway, no big deal. So let's see if we can do it. So I'm going to start here. And with a loose arm, I'm not, I'm not holding my pen real rigid, right? Like you want to kind of loose, relax. You don't want to have a death grip on it. That's going to make it harder for you. So just loose grip. I'm just going to... Yep, see, I didn't press hard enough. That's okay. No big deal, guys. Okay. It's tricky to do all in one go, so don't be hard on yourself if it doesn't happen. But you can see, you know, if you miss a spot, you can just kind of gently brush it in. Okay, are we... So I'm just giving this a base color so it's really, really easy. Like, you don't have to worry about where the shadows go right now. We're just giving it a color. So just fill in the lines. It's just a whole lot less intimidating, especially with these detailed pages. If you just have a color down first and not, not worry so much about the shadows. Let's see, I'll check the chat in just a minute. I think I saw it scroll. wanted to warn you, um, you know, just uh, be a little gentler on us today in the chat, okay? All right. Joey, hi. All right. Okay, so we're going to move back down. girl. it over. Sorry guys. Still not used to my stream setup. Uh, who else popped in? Hi Shannon. Hello sweetheart. Hi Bev. All right. Hi guys. Abby, are you going to come up here? Hi sweetheart. Leah, you want to come up? Abby has uh, been kind of hurting her arthritis has been bothering her so sometimes she cries when she wants up and she can't get up a little old girl <laughs> not. All right. Happy girl.
Yeah, Abby's doing okay, Kenny. She'll hang in there. She's, uh, she's older, so. Mm -hmm. All right, so we are getting this guy covered much better now I think I'm gonna leave him sort of like Abby with maybe white paws and a white belly so at the edges here I'm just feathering out that that edge there um, let's just, okay. all right so now that I've gotten sort of a feel for it let's uh, let's just fix this a little bit right back here now that we've gotten the feel for it now I'm going to do the head area now for the head um, I kind of want it to feel like it's in sunlight, right? Like maybe he's walking out from the shadows into the light. So I'm going to mix in a new color here. We're going to use 910. So what I'm going to do is switch over. We're going to kind of work between these two colors. So, yep, 910. Um, good morning, Jopa. <laughs> oh, thanks, Bev. Hello, everybody. <laughs> okay, so we're just using a slightly lighter color now. And I'm using, I'm pressing down hard and I'm using the flat of the marker to try and get as much coverage without any real strokes. We're going to add strokes in later, but this is a bright part now where where he's in the sun. So I just want to so what I do with this um, with these markers when I base things out is I try and use the lightest color that I'm going to need and then do the shadows in the pencils. Makes it really fun and very easy. So again, I'm just ignoring all those little shapes. We're going to go over it with a darker color later so we can just breeze right on over everything, which is really nice. <laughs> Makes it quick. Okay, I'm going to leave his... We're going to... I don't remember who said just think of Abby, but you know, we're going to color her, color this kitty like Abby. So we'll give, we'll give this like a white, white color. Okay, and since the wings are sort of in that area too, I'm going to do this back wing as if it's in the light. And so this wing, since I want to separate the two, I'm going to switch back over to the other color, I think. But maybe actually, hold on. I just, uh, let's just do just the edge like that. First. Um, hi, Sue. Thanks for coming. Hello, hello. Welcome, everyone. Okay. So now I'm going to swap back to 991, the color we were using before. And now I'm going to just go through and again, just sort of not really pay any attention to any of the detail here. We're just, but I am going in the stroke direction of the feathers. So this will help us later if there's, if there's streaky bits or any kind of issue with the marker, it'll be easily hidden because we're going in the, the right direction, if you will. 
So again, using that marker, what, pe what some people would say is a disadvantage, using it as an advantage here. And if these strokes are too long, you can just do this set first. I'll rotate the page just a little bit. Let's make sure I'm in frame though. Hold on. Yep. And feel free to rotate the page so it's more comfy for you. That's fine. Um, so yeah, if, if, if these strokes are too long, then you can do them all separate. And you see I have some white spots here and there. You can just kind of touch it up. No big deal. So I guess the key takeaway here is you don't have to be perfect to use these markers. Don't let them intimidate you just because it's a marker. Um, it really is more forgiving than you think. It's just a matter of learning, you know, the, the stroke direction you need to use for that particular object. And I think studying the drawing, usually it'll tell you, like here I'm following the lines that the illustrator gave us. You know, I wouldn't be coloring this way. Um, I'm not saying that that's, there's anything wrong with that, I'm just saying I think it looks better if, if you go with the, go with the flow, if you will. So now I'm just touching up. Okay, so now that we have that done, um, makes it a whole lot less intimidating. I'm going to use this darker color just to add a little bit of shading to some areas um, right here, the front paw, the front arm here, paw, I guess, area. Yep, just to kind of connect these two areas so it doesn't feel so separate. And again, I'm just doing little strokes in the direction of the cat's fur. And I just know what direction it grows because I have a kitty cat, but if you need to look up a picture, that's, that's totally cool too. And just kind of going, just sort of helping shade things without really fussing too much. Let's do this pull back here a little bit. Okay, so that'll help us a little bit with shading. You can also do sort of the same thing right back here to that wing thing. Okay, so that was pretty quick. Um, let's jump to, so we've, we added one more color to our pile. Let's see what colors we've got. That 977, that's a pretty decent brown, but I kind of want it warmer. So we have the brown here that we use for the tree bark, but I kind of want it warmer for the... So I'm going to add another color. I'm really sorry about this. I'm trying to keep it as little colors as possible, but we're going to add 947. This is a warmer brown. I think it'll really make the cat stand out from the other browns that we've already put down. Um, hi, Joanna. Hello. And hi, Sundance's lady. I don't think I've ever seen you here. Um, do you have a name that you like us to call you <laughs> instead of Sundance's? Um. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you're feeling better, Joe Beth. Uh, let's see who else is here. Hi, Sue. Hello. I'm sorry if I missed anybody. If you're trying to talk to me, just put my um, put your message in all caps, and that way I can see it a little easier. So, yep, switching to 947. Let's start back here where we did before, just to kind of, again, warm up to what we're doing. And, um, you know, I like to start in the dark spots first. So let's start here, and we're just going to fill in. And again, I'm just um, not worrying too much if I get streaks here. It's a, it's, cats have a lot of texture on their fur. 
so we don't have to worry too much. If you go outside the lines, this color is really dark, so luckily it's not going to show up. So these, yep, I'm going to do them all in this dark brown. It seems really dark, but once we add all the shading and shadows to the rest, this will kind of blend all together. So don't worry too much. But if you don't like it this dark, you can use a lighter color. I just want this cat to really stand out. We've got a lot going on in that background. So the more contrast you have on the main figure, the more he'll stand out from the background. If you want him to blend in, then I would use a probably a lighter brown or a darker brown for the, the coat. So he blends in more with the tree. But this guy, he seems like he's like a king of the jungle, so I'm going to make him really try and look, make him look powerful. So there's no rhyme or reason to which ones I'm picking when. I'm just going through and just... If you have OCD, look away, because I'm not going in all the lines perfectly. <laughs> but perfection here really isn't my goal. I'm just trying to get it filled in. We're going to fix things and make it look really great with our pencils. But this does speed up the process, makes it a little quicker. I think it makes it more fun because it's easier to see what you're doing. Now, the brown we used before is a very similar color. This is just a little warmer, so if you want to skip switching colors and use the, the um, 977 instead of 947, that would be a great swap. So if you want to kind of skip buying another color, that would be the way to go. Oops, sorry for the street noises if you can hear them my bad well I'm not making them but you know there it is <laughs> let's see what the chat's saying um who else just came in <laughs> um hmm I think I missed what your name is, Sundance. Please let me scroll up. Mm -hmm. I guess you didn't say it. <laughs> well, I'll call you Sundances. But if you want us to call you something different, let us know what your name is. Um, Yeah, Johanna, so um, basically what I'm doing right here, uh, Kenny's right, this is just a marker base. So what we're doing is we're just getting the whole thing covered so it's less intimidating because with all these details it can be very overwhelming. At least for me, I find um, if I cover it with marker, then um, it's sort of like a great jumping off point. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a whole lot more texture and feathering and all that stuff to the um, to it once once we're done with the marker I'm gonna use probably I'm thinking we have prismas we have a full set of prismas so we could do that I'm also thinking we could use Crayola color pencils with maybe just a white prisma for for some or even like a, a different color white pencil. I'm not sure yet. I haven't decided what pencils we're using. Or we could use polys. I have a small set of polys. So if there's a specific marker, I mean, I'm sorry, color pencil brand that you would like to see me use, then let me know. Um, 
I also have a small set of Cron Dash Luminance, but I feel like I'm trying to do this so it's a cheap budget sort of page. So I think we'll skip those for now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely much more fun than the news for sure. Mm -hmm. Well, I hope you feel better and you have a great uh, rest. And yeah, the weather change has been really getting me too. And actually, you know what's been bothering me more than anything else? I mean, the cold is, a, is annoying, but um, I can bundle up, so that doesn't bother me too much. But what's really bothering me is the lack of light. Um, it gets dark at like 4 o'clock in the afternoon now. And I'm like, where did the day go? It just feels so weird. I feel like falling asleep at like 7. Oh, I missed a spot. <laughs> All right, getting used to that. I'm really sorry about the noises outside. I think there is a construction crew or something, but hopefully they stop with the beeping soon. So sorry about that, guys. I can't really control what happens outside my door. Okay, these are definitely in a lighter area, so I think I'm actually going to switch to a lighter color for those, and I'm going to do the same for these, so, hi cutie, I'm just going to go wherever I put that dark shadow, that's kind of why I did these, this hint of where the shadows are going to go, so that I can kind of give myself a guide as to where I'm going to put, oh, incoming kitty cat, okay, hi. Heavy. Hi, sweetheart. Okay, let's zoom out just so that way hopefully you guys don't get seasick. Hi, sweetheart. Come here. So you can see I'm using Abby as a guide for the coloring. Oh, okay. Hi. Can I have you? Hello. Hi. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It is a live show. Alright, hi sweetheart. So you can see Abby's tail. <laughs> We're kind of using her as a guide. Now our kitty's a lot, um, oh she turned on the light. Isn't that funny? Um, she turned, <laughs> our, our uh, kitty is a little bit more orange than Abby is. Alright, that's good for now. She might try to jump back in so we'll leave it there so we're still using 947 hey, cutie you wanted to check out your cousin <laughs> oh. oh that's good Kenny <laughs> Oh, you got Christmas lights up. Yeah, I'm waiting a little bit longer for my lights, but I'm definitely going to put them up. Um, I usually put them up after Thanksgiving. Because I don't, like, I leave them up a little bit after Christmas. I usually leave them up until the New Year, so I don't want to get tired of them. I usually put up my lights. I don't do a tree because Abby, number one, she's allergic to a lot of different trees, so I don't want to 
trigger her allergies, but also she tends to climb them and knock them over. So it's just, um, no matter how old she is, she loves climbing things. So this little rascal, I don't want to risk her getting hurt. So uh, we're not going to do a tree. However, um, I usually put up a lot of lights and snowflakes. I hang snowflakes from the ceiling, like those little glittery, like, plastic, clear plastic ones. I hang them all over the house, so that's fun. Um, okay, the other markings, I'm going to use a slightly lighter color. It's still fairly dark. It's the, um, the color that we used, let's just make sure. Yeah, so it's this 992 sand. It's it's definitely lighter. It's the color we used for the frame, so it's not a new one. And I'm just going to... It's just a little bit less saturated, and it's a little lighter. Hi, hey, sweetheart. Now, it's not quite the right color, but I'm going to show you guys how we're going to make it the right color by layering another marker over it. But at this point, I'm trying to use only colors we've already used. So even if you have a limited palette, you can mix them together to make new colors, which is really fun. Right up. So, and if you don't want to do these lighting effects where it's like in half in sun, you can totally just skip that and just do them all one color, which is also a great way to go. A little bit easier. Okay, for his eye, I want that really dark, so I'm going to swap back over to the dark brown, but let's really quickly, oh wait, am I in frame? Yeah. Let's um let's just do these dots up here. All right. Um Hi Michelle. How you doing? Hi Andrea Andrea. <laughs> um having trouble talking today. Uh who else is here? Oh, <laughs> Yeah, Michelle, I used to put up a tree when, um, before Abby, but, uh, the first year I had her, she knocked the tree over, and, um, yeah, it was kind of, we, you know, I was lucky she didn't get hurt. She, we broke a whole lot of glass ornaments, and I just, I don't know, I don't like risking it. Um, I'm going to swap back to 947 and just get this little eye area filled in. So, yeah, with the cutie, she, uh, she definitely makes it more of a challenge. So I figure until, you know, uh, so I'm going to now switch to N75. And just sort of fill in some of the belly with this gray. And also the paws. Just again, kind of giving it a hint of where I'm going to put the shadows. Yeah. 
sneaking up, and even though she's older and she doesn't like jumping up, I have a feeling Abby loved climbing that tree. Oh my gosh, you should have seen her. So when, so when she climbed the Christmas tree, it wasn't like she just climbed it and stood up, stayed up there. She was dancing on that tree, man. It was like, and see, Abby used to be a stray cat and lived outside for a long time before you know her first owner took her in for me. So, um, so she has tree climbing experience and she is very good at it. So, um, I just, I don't know. I just don't want to risk, even though she's older now, I just have a feeling she won't care. She'll totally say to hell with my arthritis. I'm climbing that bad boy. And so we're not, we're not risking it, especially not in her old age. But, yeah, it, I mean, it was funny, except I was also stressed out and worried that she would get cut up or hurt, so. It was funny, but not at the same time. Um, oh, so, so these are water-based brush markers, and no, um, I'll show you the page. Let me zoom out. The page reverse, even if I layer, um, unless you are, like, holding it down for a really long time, you're not going to get any bleed through at all. That's why I love these markers in two-sided coloring books. I do not use Copics in these books, um, but these brush markers are ideal, I think. Uh, and I'm not sponsored by Tombow. They haven't paid me. I have purchased every single one of these markers or been gifted them by friends or whatever. Um, so, uh, yeah, this is just my honest opinion. I've used these markers in other pages. I'll show you. Um, really quickly so for this page here I put up a, a little separator just so that I can so for this page here I used a Tombow brush marker on the base of the entire castle and I used several layers I would layer and then let it dry and layer 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 um, so but you can see the page reversed absolutely beautiful perfect no issues and same with this one here so um, I did Tombow brush markers for all the base of this page, and then you can see on the reverse, um, good to go. So that's why I love these markers. That's one of the reasons why I love them. I also love them because um, you can also activate them with water and um, move them around a little bit. Um, so that's kind of nice, but I just, I just use them straight like this and then use the pencils over them. So that's how I get depth and shading. So I hope that helps. Um. <laughs> oh, thanks, Michelle. Yeah, I did them. I did my nails um, last night, and I actually messed up two of my nails, so I painted that one gold. I was like, oh, I gotta remove it. So, but I would have a hard time matching the exact color because I didn't remember how many coats of nail polish I put down. So I just made it a different color. <laughs> So when you mess up your nails, just make it look intentional. Um, <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, Suze. So um, you can find my shopping list in the description below. I can also just link it here. Hold on. Um, so I'll be adding the two new colors today. So just give me like an hour or two. I'll be adding the two new colors that I added to that list. And then you can go ahead and purchase those and follow along. Um, before we move on from the Tombos, I just want to do one more quick thing with those um, with those guys there. So we're going to uh, sw swap to 991 and I'm just going to go right on over the brown that we put down and you see how it like warms it up? It's this orange that we used for the other part. So that's sort of how I'm warming up that uh, more gray-brown. Um, oh, thank you guys. I'm glad you like it. Uh, let's see. I'm probably missing a whole bunch of chat. Sorry about that. Just put it in caps if I'm missing you. Um, hi, Leslie. Thanks for coming, honey. It's late there, isn't it? Okay, Abs, you are getting heavy. Let's put you down in my lap. There we go. 
cutie. Abby is sitting right in my lap, so I only have one hand to work with. So yeah, I'm just going to warm up this brown with this orangey color. I think it'll be just right. So that's another way, if you only have a limited palette of colors, that's another way for you to um, expand your color selection is just by layering them on top of each other. And it works great. It's not like the Copics where it'll take away the color underneath. It just, it layers on top. So these are different. Um, they do take a little bit of a learning curve. But once I figured out how to use them, I, I have to admit, I'm really, really um, in love with them. I use them a lot. Especially in, in pages and books like this where there's pages that are printed on both sides. Okay, I think I got them all. This guy there. Okay. So that pretty much concludes our marker base for the Tombow brush markers. Now, next episode we're going to do um, the, the pencil. So I have several brands um, I can use, I'm, I'm leaning towards Prismacolors because those are fairly inexpensive and I have a full set. So I'm thinking about using those, but um, if you guys have a request as to what brand I use, um, just let me know and um, we'll work with them. I have a small set of Polys. I have um, set one and three of the Tombow Erogitin, so we could do this all as a Tombow page if you wanted to. Um, we have a set of, um, we have the Black Widow, we have a full set of the Black Widow color pencils, we could use those, and we also have a full set, or a hundred, of, uh, the color pencils for Crayola. So, um, I'm leaning towards any one of those sets, um, to do the color pencil work. So let's see what you guys are saying. Um... Oh, you can't sleep. Oh, Leslie. Well, I'm glad you're here. Hi, Em. How you doing? Everybody, Emmy's my little sister from Florida now. How's the weather down there, Em? I'm sure it's way nicer than the 30 degrees up here. <laughs> Thanks, Shannon. Yeah, we're gonna get we're gonna get a uh, really we're going to have a whole lot of fun now with this page. Now that it's all covered, you know, it takes a lot of the stress out of it. So now we can really enjoy putting shadows and giving detail and texture to things and really um, bringing it to life. So I'm really excited. Um, no, Joanna, I don't have the Derwent watercolor pencils. Unfortunately, that's not one in my collection, so I can't try those out. Um... It's 57! Jeez, Em! <laughs> well, enjoy the beautiful weather today. Do you have to work? <laughs> um, oh, hi, Rochelle! <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't see you pop in. Um, Prismacolors. Okay, we've got one vote for Prismacolors. Anybody else have a, a preference? Again, the choices are Prismas, Polys, um, Tombow Erogitin, the Black Widow color pencils, or the Crayola color pencils. So we've got a whole bunch um, that we can work with. I think I'm going to stay away from the more expensive ones. I do have a, a small selection of Luminance pencils, for example. I think I'll stay away from those for this particular one. I'm trying to trying to do it on a budget. <laughs> uh, oh, okay, yeah, and we'll have a great day at work. <laughs> Oh, that's okay, Tiffany. It's good to meet you. Lurkers are very welcome in my streams. I have no problem with lurking. I do it all the time in other people's streams. So, um, <laughs> Okay, we've got another vote for Prismas. Um, let's see. It's on your list, but you don't see 
colorist using them. I'm not sure which, what you're talking about. You mean the, the Tombos, Joanna? Um... Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, Suze, I gave away my Artezas a long time ago. I just didn't really gel with those. Um, so I don't have Artezas. I do have a small set of polys. I have the 36 set of polys, so I could use those. So we've got two votes for Prismas and one vote for polys, I'm guessing. Um, hi, Sammy. Okay, so we've got a vote for, so we've got two votes for Prismas, one vote for Tombow, Erogeton, and one vote for Polly. <laughs> I don't have the Derwent, Joanna. <laughs> oh, oh, I see, you don't see colorists using those. Yeah, um, I just don't have them, so I can't use them. Uh, if I had them, I would try them out, but <laughs> maybe some other time. Um, I have plenty of different brands, though, at this point, so I'm not really trying to buy more. Um, uh, hello, hello. <laughs> All right. Okay, we, I think Prismas are winning here. We've got, I think, three votes for Prismas. Oh, we've got two votes for Tombos, three votes for Prismas, and one vote for Polly. All right, so we're neck and neck now. We, Prismas are winning by just one. Oh, nope, we've got another one. Kenny says Prisma. So, oh, I love them all. <laughs> That's why I, I love asking you guys what you'd love to see. So we've got four votes for Prismas, uh, two votes for Tombow, and one vote for Polly. <laughs> Hi, Daria. <laughs> Just use whatever you want. I love them all, guys. I can use which, whichever one. Um, I d does not bother me. Um, but it looks like Prismas are winning. <laughs> Pencil flavors, yeah. <laughs> You know, I do love trying new pencil brands, but, um, yeah, I mean, I'm running out of storage, so I don't really need anything else. <laughs> I have plenty of supplies. Um, okay, so we've got three votes for Tombos. So it's four votes for Prismas, three votes for Tombos, and one vote for Polly. <laughs> Anybody else want to pitch in and vote? I love doing these votes live because it's, um, you know, you guys that are here live with me are the ones that usually watch, so um, I love doing them in the live streams um, with the people who really watch them, so. Uh, it looks like Prismas are winning unless we have anybody else to pitch in. <laughs> <laughs> so my only suggestion is after you're done the Tombos let them dry before you put pencils over top this is to keep the page from this the, the paper surface from tearing so even though you think it's dry to the touch it's still probably a little bit wet so I usually let it dry overnight and just let it set and settle and then I go over them with the pencils um you think your pencils are making more pencils. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. There's five votes for Prismas. All right. I think Prismas win. <laughs> we'll use the Tombos on another page, though, for sure. And if you guys want to see me use the Tombos, my last uh, page that I did, um, the little Mer Baby um, in my last stream, that was done with Tombow or Ojitin pencils. So you can check that out if you need to. Um, okay, I think, I think we're pretty much done. I'm going to wrap this up here if anybody doesn't have any questions. But before we go, you guys know I like to give a shout out to who's in the chat. So I'm just going to read off. We've got Sammy, Sue, Joe Beth. This is YC. Hi, welcome. I haven't seen you here. 
Um, Emily, oh my gosh, Emmy, you know, you're right. I can always find a spot for them, I suppose, but <laughs> we've got Emmy, Leslie, <laughs> um, Zeely, hello, Zeely. Oh yeah, okay, there's the other Prisma boat. We've got Joanna, Shannon, Michelle Kaler, thank you guys for coming, Rochelle, Leslie, who else is here, Sue, <laughs> and Sue, we've got Susan Sue, <laughs> Pamela, mm -hmm. alright guys, thank you so much for coming, I hope you had a great time, and we'll be back next week for this guy. But um, I'm going to try and stream again this week if I can. Um, I'm feeling a little bit better. And um, I want to do a funny stream. It's not going to be adult coloring. It's going to be uh, something else entirely. So, um, yeah, if I'm feeling up to it, uh, watch out for my channel this week. We're going to do another really fun video. Um, and also, just... Uh, just throwing this out there, I'm also working really hard with another colorist and um, another awesome pillar of our community on a really, really fun uh, project for um, December. So stay tuned for that. Uh, keep an eye out on my channel or my Instagram, Facebook, or whatever. I'm going to announce it everywhere. I'm so excited about this project. So um, yeah, just uh, keep an eye out for that as well. Um, uh, let's see. Thank you, Joe Beth. <laughs> Thank you all so much for coming. Thanks, Kenny. All right, take care. And, uh, oh, thanks for sticking around, Otilia. <laughs> all right. All right, guys, have a great rest of your day. Bye.